Hey guys, so I am right in the middle of making these little Christmassy treats and so I thought I would show y'all they are so easy and they are delicious and all you need is three ingredients. You need a bag of pretzels and I went with these square ones but I think you can use the regular shaped ones too and then a bag of Rolos and I just got through peeling open every single one of the Rolos in the bag. And then you just need some M&Ms and since it's almost Christmas, I went with red and green M&Ms. And you literally just put your pretzels down, put your Rolos on top, then you bake these in the oven at 250 for four minutes, just long enough to get your chocolate a little bit melty. And then you add an M&M to the top of each one. And then you like let them cool back off in the fridge for a few minutes and that's it. And they are the most delicious little salty and sweet snack ever. So I thought I would show you these to you guys and I will um, update you once they are out of the oven and we will put the M&Ms on. Okay, so they just came out of the oven and y'all wanna see how um, like awesome of a cook and like super stay at home mommer I am. <whistles> yep, I definitely spilled a good 10 of them onto the ground and now I have chocolatey, melty chocolate all over this darn rug. <laughs> So that's what I was get that's what I get for trying to be like a vlogger and be cool. So I was trying to pull these out of the oven with one hand and my camera was in the way. So I was trying to move the camera while I was holding the hot candies in my hand and half of them slid off the tray. So that was super awesome. Oh, it's just that's just how it goes for me. But anyway, we are going to add the M&Ms now to the ones that we have left. Let's do it. Okay, here we go with the M&Ms. Okay, and this is what they look like when they are all finished. And now we just have to put them into the oven. Nope, put them into the fridge to let them harden back up. And this is just a cute, easy little treat um, that's cute and Christmassy. Doesn't have a lot of ingredients and they're super fast to make. Um, and of course, kids love them and adults love them. So these are going in the fridge now and we will be snacking on these <laughs> later uh, on in the day.
Well, I managed to get the living room straightened up a little bit this morning. Uh, that says nothing about the rest of the house, but at least <laughs> we've got all the dirty clothes cleared off the back of the couch. <laughs> we've got all the toys picked up and we vacuumed and we're doing okay in here. So now this is, um, usually in the mornings, uh, Fisher will eat breakfast and I'll do a little bit of cleaning. And then after that, we usually head to the gym. So that is what we are about to do now. And we will see you guys in a little bit. And just when I get done straightening up, my darling son, what did you do? You did that? Did you spill the colors? Can you pick them up for mommy? Can we clean them up? Clean them up. Here, I'll help you. Thank you. Let's clean them up. I see. Can you pick up the colors? He is a turkey. Good boy, Fisher. Good helper. Don't put the granola bar in there too. <laughs> So I just got done at the gym. I have to always do an hour on the elliptical, and as you can see, I am bright red and sweaty. I'm really lucky that my gym has a kids club. Um, so I get to bring Fisher with me every day, and they watch him. Um, and it's only like 10 extra dollars a month for that, and that is so worth it, because otherwise I would never get to work out. So. Anyway, time to go get him uh, picked up and head back home. So it is much later in the day now. Um, I have already picked up Landon from Mother's Day Out and we picked up Addison from school and we are back home. Um, I, when we got back from the gym, I took a quick shower, dried my hair, put on a light, light amount of makeup and the kids are playing outside now and I thought it might be a good time for me to try to start wrapping a few Christmas presents. I have not started wrapping anything yet um, and obviously I can't do the kids presents while they're home because <laughs> they would see them but I might try to start wrapping uh, maybe a couple of my husband's presents or maybe um, I have a few others like um, some stuff that I got from my mom um, and a few other family members so if I have time that's what I'm gonna attempt to do next before I have to start figuring out dinner and homework and all that kind of stuff. So let's see what we can get done. Okay, so I got some of the gifts down um, and I thought I would show you guys a few of them. These are all gifts that our family is doing for a little gift exchange um, that we are having with a group of friends. And so all of the kids in the group drew names and everybody had to get one present. Uh, for the person whose name they drew and then the adults are gonna do white is it white elephant uh, <laughs> we were supposed to buy a $10 gift of something that we would want to receive and then you know you play the game where you pass the presents around I don't know but I just thought I would show you so Landon drew um, a little girl who is four I think maybe she's five she's five and so we got her one of the LOL little sister balls and we got her this cute LOL 
art set and I got this for five dollars which I thought was super super cute so that is what Landon got as his gift to give um Addison drew a an older girl um, she's 10 years old and we got her the big lol doll um it's the bling series so it's the kind that looks like a christmas ornament that you can hang on the tree so we got her the the big lol and we also got her this cute little pair of rudolph christmas earrings since she was a little older i thought that she would like those um Fisher actually drew a um, a cousin who is just turned one year old, and so we got him this cute Mickey Mouse shape sorter. We got him this just this cute little Mickey Mouse shape sorter, and I thought that was cute. We got that at Kohl's. Then my husband, um, for his ten dollar gift, he chose this little two piece knife and multi-tool set <laughs> thing from Walmart. So that's gonna be his gift that he gives. And then I chose this cute, um, what is this stuff called? Why can't I think of it? Like the metal, galvanized metal tray. Um, and then it says home sweet home. And it was only $9.98 or $9.96 or something like that at Walmart and I thought it was so cute it reminds me of Joanna Gaines <laughs> and I thought that was a really good deal for that and this is definitely something that I would be happy to receive so I thought that would make a cute gift but anyway those are just some of the gifts I'm about to wrap I have others but I don't want to show them because my husband will probably watch this video and he is not allowed to see his before Christmas but I'm gonna get started wrapping now Okay, this is what I was able to get done. I feel like I was wrapping forever and literally <laughs> I didn't even get that many done, but at least I've started. I'm glad that I've made a little bit of progress and now I have got to figure out where I'm going to keep these because Fisher over here I can already tell <laughs> he can't wait to destroy all of this hard work. So we're gonna have to put these away until closer to Christmas, but I'm glad to have a little bit of it done. Okay, you guys are gonna have to let me know. <laughs> Was this video time-lapse overload? Did I do too many time-lapses? 
I thought that I would show you guys this recipe that my mom um, just recently told me about, and it is for this cornbread. And when you hear everything that's in it, it sounds like it would be disgusting, but it's actually so delicious and like moist and really good. And it is broccoli cornbread and it has cottage cheese in it, which is really strange and weird to me, but I don't know how, but somehow it turns out really good. So this is what it looks like before it goes in the oven. But anyway, I'm about to throw it into the oven and then we will see what it looks like when it comes out and see if it turns out like my mom's. Hopefully it does. <laughs> Guys, it actually smells so delicious. It smells just like it's gonna taste like my mom's. Oops. So, this is the broccoli cornbread, <laughs> which sounds gross, but it's actually really, really good. So I'm excited to eat some of this. Okay, guys, I am gonna close out this video here. This is my first ever kind of day in the life, <laughs> just come along with me video, a vlog. And so um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a really good time making it. Um, I just kind of wanted to show y'all what a typical day looks like for me um, with a little Christmas <laughs> going on too. Um, and so um, if you enjoyed it, please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Um, I've really gotten a, a good boom of new subscribers lately, and I'm really, really excited about that. Um, I'm having so much fun making videos for you guys and all of your sweet comments and all. I just, I'm really enjoying it. So thank you guys so much, um, and I hope that you will continue watching, and hopefully I can keep um, making videos that you guys enjoy. Um, and I will see you guys really soon with another video. Bye!